In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome glowing sketch animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once you have Adobe After Effects open, you want to import your footage and create a brand new sequence. And once all of that is complete, we can begin the process of animating our text on. So first of all, you want to decide where on the screen you want to add your text to. And in my example, I'm going to add it to this roof of this building just on the bottom of the frame. Now from here, we can begin the process of drawing this paint on. So we'll go up to the paintbrush tool on the top bar inside of Adobe After Effects, and then we'll double click on the video itself. And this should load up a separate layer window inside of After Effects. Now from here, we can go over to the paint tab on the right of After Effects and we can change the color of the paint. So I'm going to select a nice yellow for this example. And then if we go over to the brushes tab, again on the right side of After Effects, we can change the diameter, we can change the angle, we can change the roundness and the hardness of the brush. So adjust the brush to a point that you're happy with. And then as soon as you're happy with this, we want to go back into the paint tab and in duration, you want to make sure this is set to single frame. It's really important that you set the duration to single frame because this is what's going to enable you to create the frame by frame animation that you need to do to complete the scribble effect. So select single frame and draw on your video. I'm going to go through the process of drawing an outline around the roof of this building, but rather than doing this all on the one frame, we want to do this frame by frame. So we'll start off by drawing a tiny line on the bottom left corner of this roof. And then we'll go over to the next frame and we'll draw a slightly longer line. Go to the next frame, we'll draw an even longer line. And then as we go through each individual frame, we'll update this line so that this is moving around the outside of the roof. The cool thing is as well, you can backtrack on yourself. So once you've completed one set of animation, you can go back in time, you can change the brush settings, you can change the color, the position, the roundness, you can change all of the settings and we can draw a new pattern of animation on top of our footage. So we're gonna draw this really cool growing line progression across the center of the roof. And this is gonna play at the same time as that yellow outline of the roof is animating around. So frame by frame, I'm gonna update these lines to animate across the roof. And then we'll do one more color. I'm gonna change this to a green brush. I'll increase the size of the brush. And I'm just going to slowly animate this bottom right hand corner of the roof to slowly animate on and then flicker on and off. Now, as soon as you're happy with the scribble effect, we now need to go ahead and add some glow to this effect. So we'll go up into the effects and presets window on the right hand side of Adobe After Effects and we'll search for glow. Now drop glow onto your footage, but the second that you do this, you'll realize that the entire video has the glow effect applied to it rather than just those lines. So to avoid this problem, we'll delete glow from our footage and we'll apply glow to a new adjustment layer. So we'll go ahead and select layer, new adjustment layer, and then we can drag the glow onto the adjustment layer. Again, everything will glow, but the great thing is we can add a mask to the adjustment layer to only glow around the parts of the video that we want to glow. So we'll select the pen tool and we'll draw a rectangle mask around this roof. Now we just need to feather out the edges of this mask so that this blends really nicely with the rest of the video. So we'll go into adjustment layer, masks, mask one, and we'll just increase the mask feather to around 100. And now as you can see, that glow is contained to just that one part of the video. Now, if we go into the glow settings on the adjustment layer, if we increase or decrease the glow threshold, the glow radius and the glow intensity, we can get different looks for our glow. So take the time to go through this setting and try and find a setting that works for you. And there you go. Once you've done this, you've now completed the glowing scribble animation effect inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.